I feel this is fantastic for capturing that kind of audio if you're recording not only ASMR, but if you're maybe trying to record any kind of like, you know, detailed video, like the videos where people break chalk or people that whisper into their microphones. If you're wearing headphones, let me know how this sounds. What's up, everybody? Welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out. EMT here, and in this video, we're talking about a brand new wireless microphone that fits both smartphones and cameras, and I'm actually currently wearing it. It is the Comica VD Live 10, and this is the little guy, and it's sending the audio wirelessly automatically to my Canon USR via transmitter, so you can hold it like this, or you can wear it, and I'm gonna tell you all about it. Let's go. So before we begin, Comica did send me the microphone for testing, but this is not a sponsored video. Just wanted to get that out of the way. And I took this little guy to my recent trip to San Juan, Puerto Rico. All right, we are in old San Juan and we're capturing audio directly with the built-in microphones on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The ocean is to my right. There's an event happening on the left with like music in the background. But once again, this audio is being captured by the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And this is the audio being captured by the Comica VD Live. I, as you can see, I have a pack on me and this is wirelessly sending the information straight into the receiver, which is connected to the lightning port on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. But being able to move around and have the ability to have consistent audio, no matter what the environment is, if I want it to go further out, we could totally do such things. And this is a really good microphone, not only if you're recording your own videos, but maybe you're trying to do news reporting, maybe you're trying to do Instagram lives, maybe you're trying to create TikToks and things like that. Um, maybe even Zoom and work from home meetings and things like that. This gives you the ability to present and have consistent high quality audio no matter where you are. All right, everybody, we're back at the hotel and the audio that you're listening to right now is being captured by the Comica VD Live 10 connected directly into my Canon USR using a TRS cable. And of course the included hot shoe mount. And this thing looks pretty solid. It's, it's, it's a really nice looking setup, but the versatility of being able to switch between smartphone and SLR, if you happen to have an additional camera is clutch. Cause that means less things that I have to bring when I'm traveling, just like right now. Once again, the audio is being captured by this transmitter wirelessly being sent to my Canon USR using the receiver and a TRS cable. And now this is the audio quality being captured by the built-in microphones on the Canon USR. Let me know in the comment section which one do you prefer. Now the Comica VD Live 10 comes in two different configurations. You have the MI or made for iPhone, which will set you back $199. And there's also the USB version which will set you back $179. The package includes a rechargeable storage case, transmitters, the receiver, a cold shoe mount, wind muffs, the charging USB to USB-C cable, a pouch, and a TRRS to TRRS cable. But it's a pretty simple packaging and I really like that the transmitters and the receiver just simply fit in one package and it's a rechargeable pack. So you can carry this thing with you and it will keep your microphones and transmitters fully charged. And this whole situation is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless microphone. The Comica VD Live 10 is widely compatible with a lot of different devices from smartphones to SLR cameras, mirrorless, and even action cameras given you have the necessary adapters for it. And what makes it so practical is just really easy, it has a built-in microphone, but you do have the option to plug in additional microphones or pretty much anything you want to it, to be honest with you, via the 3.5 millimeter input. Now the beautiful thing about the Comica VD Live 10, besides it being a wireless microphone and being a pretty awesome wireless microphone, is that it gives you the ability to capture stereo or mono audio.
And now we're testing the VD Live microphone in a different environment, crowded environment. There's a freeway literally in front of me behind the phone with vehicles coming left to right. There's an airport. There's a lot of ambient noise. And this is the audio quality with the iPhone 12 Pro Max built-in microphones. You can probably even hear me anyway, so we'll talk later. One of the most important features about this microphone system, the Comica VD Live 10, is its duplex transmission system. Now, in order to enable the duplex or the simplex modes in the Comica VD Live 10, all you really have to do is grab your transmitter and make sure you enable the D, you flick the switch down, and that will enable the duplex mode. Now, the duplex mode will give you the capability to capture audio with both transmitters and monitor with both transmitters. If you're doing a podcast session, if you're doing a work from home lecture, if you have multiple audio inputs that you wanna make sure you're able to monitor, this is fantastic if you're running solo because that way you can monitor your own audio and if somebody else is with you, they can monitor their own audio and hear real time how they're being recorded. Here's a short test with an impromptu podcast setup. All right, everybody, we are testing an impromptu podcast setup here with the Comica VD Live 10. And as you can see, I have the transmitter in my hand and this actually can be used as an interview mechanism. So I can literally like, you know, hand it over to somebody else and interview yeah. them. What do you think? I mean, it sounds great. It sounds pretty good, right? Yeah, I can hear myself and pretty clear. Yeah, so if you were wondering, we have headphones, both of us plugged into the 3.5 millimeter input on the transmitter because we are monitoring ourselves. So I can hear myself, Laura can hear herself, and her first reaction was like very, very interesting because everything was very, very clear. Yeah. Um, so it's really cool to be able to do this on a simple setup, plug and play kind of situation. Right now we're using the Canon USR, but this can be used on your smartphone, like the iPhone or any Android phone via the Lightning or the USB-C port. And this exchange is being recorded in mono if I flip it over to stereo the whole dynamic change because you can probably hear me in one of your ears and Laura on the other one. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, am I supposed to, st I, I can still hear myself. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's you're, just you're, the people. Who are it's there. just the people that what, whatever they listen, they're going to hear you on the right side. They're going to hear me on the left side of their ears. So it's going to be all okay, crazy. Okay. It's yeah. not like I'm going to hear it different. Myself. Yeah, no, you're going to hear it the okay. same. Yeah. Okay. We get back. it in mono but whoever listens to this exchange now is going to be able to listen to stereo, which is pretty interesting. And as you can see, Laura has the microphone, pretty much the transmitter. She's wearing it on her shirt and I'm holding it kind of like interview style. But if I put it right here, then the whole dynamic changes, right? You, you're definitely going to get a completely different audio setup. So it depends on what you're looking to create. You can just wear it or maybe you can use a lavalier, or if you're doing a podcast, this is like a hands-free way of creating something pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds pretty good. I mean, I can hear myself, so, and I hear you, and I hear you, so. Do you hear any delay or anything like that? No, it's like real life. It's like real life. I feel life. like I can't, um, I talk like not loud because it it's sounds very, very clear. And very, it, it's not loud, but it's like right there. Yeah, it's. At the limit. It's crisp. It's crisp. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Now, if you switch over to the simplex mode, that's a little bit more traditional setup where if you have somebody filming you, they can monitor you and direct you and let you know if your microphone is a little too high, a little too low, and you can make the necessary adjustments. I remember the days of going to a trade show and having somebody to help you and tell you if your microphone's too hot and tell you and direct you a little bit, right? But now if you're flying solo, you can do your own monitoring on the bi-directional duplex transmission system. So I have personally never seen a system so small that allows you to do something like this and a 179 and 199 respectively. I think there's a lot of value for creators who are doing a lot of work from home, creators who are doing their own impromptu interviews or podcasting sessions. Now the Comica VD Live 10 has a working distance of up to 30 meters. I personally did maybe five to 10 meters at the most because of the environments that I typically work with don't really require me to go as far, but it's very impressive nonetheless. On such a small little device, it has four hours of continuous use, but if you're running solo, remember you have two transmitters, so that would be a total of eight hours. When one dies, you can switch over to the other one and it's all seamless, like you didn't have to do anything like that. Because we have this charging case that you have the one touch pairing and charging capabilities, it just makes it a really nice portable solution if you're filming both on smartphones or cameras.
And to be honest with you, I was actually very impressed with the quality of the microphone. Comic has come out with some really good systems in the past couple of years. It all comes down to where you place your microphone. If you keep it real close to you, you'll have definitely a much, much better audio pickup, but it's up to you if you wanna wear it. Like if it was like a handheld microphone, you can do that. It opens up the possibilities, not only for interviewing or recording videos on the go, but also stereo capture and serial field recording. So when I took it out for a spin and did a little test for the serial pickup pattern, it was once again, something that I expected from Comic has really good audio separation. So if you're wearing headphones, you can probably pick that up a little bit better than on smartphones. But if your smartphone or tablet has stereo speakers, you can probably pick up a little bit of the movement, which is fantastic, not only for field recordings, but for Foley. If you're just trying to capture a little bit more immersive environment, maybe you're trying to do any 360 videos or any VR, this is definitely a fantastic tool to be able to move the microphones and place them where you see fit. And also, how can we forget about A, S, M, R? I feel this is fantastic for capturing that kind of audio if you're recording not only ASMR, but if you're maybe trying to record any kind of like, you know, detailed video, like the videos where people break chalk or eat or people that whisper into their microphones. If you're wearing headphones, let me know how this sounds. I don't know. <laughs> but I wanna know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them down there so we can continue to create relevant content for you. Thank you Comica for sending out the VD Live 10 for testing and thank you for sharing your time with me. I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>